Good morning. It is December 24th at like 10 or so in the morning. Christmas Eve, people. I bet nobody else is at work, but I'm at work. I know my dad's working, so that's two of us anyways. But uh, God bless all of you that are at home under the covers, probably on the couch watching TV. You got your phone, you got your coffee. Super jealous, um, but I do have my phone and my coffee, so things are still looking pretty good over here. Uh, today is day four of the flab to ab challenge. And yesterday was absolutely brutal. I worked my butt off on, wow, what, what day was it? Well, three days ago now was my first gym day of this challenge. And I went light because I knew that I wasn't in very good shape. Uh, instead of, you know, benching 135, which is what I would normally do, I did 115. Uh, instead of squatting 185, I did 135. And same with rows, I went down in weight. Uh, the difference between that routine and my normal one is I didn't really warm up, so that was a mistake. I was in a rush, so I didn't warm up. And I did a circuit, so I did uh, benching, rows, squat, bench, row, squat. And I took no breaks in between um, except a few seconds to catch my breath. And just worked my butt off. I did five by five and didn't really feel like I worked out too hard. You know, my, uh, my legs, my, uh, my thighs, Definitely felt like a little bit of damage done there, but that was the goal, right? So the next day, I was pretty sore, but you know, it was like a normal amount of soreness. Uh, I did some stretches, I did some core work. Uh, I roll, I did a like a foam roller, rolled everything out, like thought I was looking pretty good. The next day I woke up, so this was yesterday, I woke up feeling like somebody had you know, siphoned all the gas out of my tank. Like I just, I, I woke up feeling like garbage, 20% energy. And it didn't get better throughout the day. I just had a, like a really low energy day and my muscles were so freaking sore. I could hardly walk. You know, I forced myself to do some body weight squats and some push ups yesterday just because it was my workout day and I had to work out. Um, but I just was trying to do enough to warm up my muscles and get some blood flowing, hoping that by today it, it would kind of subside. Luckily today I feel a lot better. Energy's back. Muscles are still super sore. Uh, but by tomorrow I should be able to go back and do a normal lift day. Definitely going to warm up this time. I'll do some stretches. I'll probably go a bit slower so it's not so intense, but I think I'll do the same weight. So anyways, uh, the lesson here was to not overdo it in the beginning. I had been lifting once a week on average before, so I didn't think uh, I was that far behind, but apparently all the sitting on my ass that I do every day is atrophying my muscles and I need to work out. So that and I'm 32, about to be 33 in two days. Uh, and you know, I'm not, as young as I used to be. I'm still pretty young. I feel great, but uh, you know, if I would have done this when I was 23, I probably would just bounce right back. So anyways, that's what's going on with the challenge. So far, I haven't missed anything. I spring out of bed at five this morning. I woke up at like 4.35 and you know, wasn't going to go back to sleep for 20 minutes. And doing the Wim Hof is, is actually really good. I'm uh, it's not as hard to breathe deeply as it was four days ago. My diaphragm's already getting in better shape. And there's just something about, you know, when you're holding your breath, you exhale everything, you're holding your breath, you just kind of go into this zone. I imagine it's like super deep meditation where you're just like, you're so blanked out that the time just flies. Like I held my breath for two and a half minutes and it only seemed like one minute to me. It was really crazy. So 100% recommend checking out the Wim Hof method for everybody. Um, health is important, especially in this day and age. So uh, yeah, what else am I getting into today? Well, I just took a reading test. Uh, I wanted to know how fast I read because 
I've always been interested in things like speed reading and what do they call it? Accelerated learning and all that kind of stuff. And I understand the concepts of speed reading, but I haven't ever been able to like do it. I've never practiced it. I never really fully understood how to practice it. But last night I discovered, I think I discovered how I'm going to practice it. And so it's really cool. The way that people speed read is well, like take a normal person like me. <laughs> normal, right? No, take like your average reader. They'll look at every word and they'll read one word at a time. And that's definitely how I read. Speed readers will read like chunks of words at a time. So instead of reading one word at a time, they'll read like three. And the people that are really good at it will read like, like, like a few lines or like a whole line. Like they'll just, they'll look at one spot, but they'll see all these words and they'll, they'll comprehend all those words. And I've been trying to figure out how the heck do you practice doing that? Because when I look at one word, I can't really see the words around it. So I found a way. Check this out. So what I did was I took a piece of paper and I drew a dot on it. Hopefully you can see that. And what I'm going to do is take this paper with this dot and you know use it as like my point of reference. So I'll just keep my eye on the dot, but I'll focus on the words around it. And I'll just keep practicing that. I'll practice looking at one spot, but paying attention to all the words around it so that I get better at seeing all those words, even though I'm not looking directly at them. And I'm guessing that it won't take very long for that to kick in. Um, humans are very visual animals. We, we, we process so much information with our eyes that the reason why people read slowly is because they're, they're almost listening with their eyes. Their eyes are seeing it, they're processing that into a word and saying it either out loud or saying it in their mind and then listening to that word before they comprehend it. Whereas if you've ever been like in the zone reading a Harry Potter book or something and you feel like you're watching a movie, that's how it is for me. If I get really into a book, I just, I feel like I'm watching a movie. I'm, I'm flying through the words. I'm not even really reading the words. I'm just seeing what's happening. And it's a really fun experience. It's better than watching TV or anything like that because you're getting this really rich, imaginated world, imagined world. Um, so if you can do that on purpose, if you can read that way on purpose and use your visual part of your brain instead of the auditory part of your brain, you'll be able to read much faster. And that's, that's basically what speed reader people do. And the people that compete in it, they will uh, combine speed reading techniques with memorization techniques so that they can read a whole bunch of information and then take a test on it and ace the test. It's because they're really good at taking in all that information with their eyes and then they have systems that they've practiced where they can take that information and connect it to things in their mind so that they can recall all that stuff shortly afterwards. So I did, I just did the test. I read 224 words per minute at a, like my normal average comfortable pace and we'll do another test in a week and we'll see, uh, you know, how much I improve. So I should probably to find some parameters. So I will practice this dot thing for 10 minutes a day. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do 10 minutes a day of practicing the dot thing. And I'll take the test in a week and we'll see if I improve. And beyond that, I, you know, I expect to improve quite a bit. I'll probably, I'll probably at least double it. I could probably double it if I was really trying to read as fast as I could, but uh, we'll just see what happens. And then after that, if it uh, shows really promising results, there's a bunch of other techniques that people do. So kind of fun. Uh, if you like reading or you think that it would be valuable to read faster, definitely check out speed reading. Uh, they, they recommend, I forget who it was, but they recommend that people in college read at least like 600 words per minute uh, in order to get through all of the information that you have to read. So 
I think in college they probably teach some of this stuff, but for people like me that only went to college for fun and not for learning, uh, you know, they might have missed out on that stuff. So that's what's happening in my neck of the woods. I hope you're all having a great Christmas Eve. Um, and then tomorrow's Christmas, so I hope you get to spend it with family and just get to enjoy it as much as you can. I'm grateful to have you watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot.